All right, hi and welcome to Angular Arithmetic. This is an engaging way to teach math, everything from addition with the younger kids to integers and maybe even some algebra thrown in here. And it's all put together through a fishing competition. So you're looking at the lodge right down there that I built on the, on the lower right. Here's the village. You can see that some villagers have white banners and some villagers have red banners hanging off their homes. This is the annual competition between the white and red teams. So the sun's going down here, so let me just switch to daytime. Okay, so annually uh, we have two teams of the best fishermen in the world that emerge, uh, Team White and Team Red. Um, they both live in the same lodge down in the lower right. You can see the red boats, the, uh, the acacia wood, and you can see the white boats as well. Um, and I'll show you where you start, and then I'll show you what this project's all about. So as a math teacher, you can teach anything from addition with younger kids to algebra. Uh, with older kids as well as integers as well. You start down here with Clyde from New York. This is Clyde. He basically welcomes them to the competition, tells them how much fun it is. So, uh, the theme here is everyone's hyped up because it's white versus red. This is the annual fishing tournament and uh, everyone's here at the lodge and in the village and they're excited. So you get some locals like the guy down there. I think that's Cecil. He just likes to come down here and pretend to be part of the action. But this is the fishing lodge that hosts white versus red every year. It's a two-day or three-day fishing competition, Minecraft day, mind you, um, they, that you can decide as a teacher what you want the kids to do. When you come inside the lodge, you can see that there is a large table. There's the cook. Um, there's a large table that looks like a team could sit around and meet. And basically, here's what the thing, uh, here's what the whole project is. It's a precursor to doing some math. So kids will head out for two or three Minecraft days on the lakes and they will bring back fish. And right here, if they bring back a salmon, the white team scores two points for every salmon. They get three points for every clownfish, and they get one point for every puffer fish. Same thing for the red team, which is over here. They basically store their fish in the chests when they bring them back. And after two days, you can do a whole bunch of things with adding. You can do some integer work if you made one minus, like a penalty for certain ones. Uh, you could add uh, a bonus for cooking fish. So the more cooked fish you have, the better it was. So there's your algebra, and you could also do algebra based on, uh, you know, uh, 26s could represent 26 salmon, which would represent two points, s equals two, that type of thing. So there's some algebra work you could do here. So this beautiful lodge is where they come every year. The villagers all pick a team, so you can see there's white houses and red houses. Um, there's the president of uh, Minecraftia. Of course, the president loves this fishing, so he's here. Um, you go upstairs, there's some bedrooms. Nothing really big about the bedrooms other than the fact that if you wanted the class to all go to sleep, there's, I think, 18 beds up here. There's nine white and uh, roughly nine red in their bedrooms. It's just sort of a classy upstairs for the uh, for the lodge itself. So, uh, so I'll fly up in the air here and you can get a better... So there's the banners up in the mountain. This is a big celebration that happens every single year. And, uh, and the village buys into it. And it really is kind of lifelike in the fact that you know, this could be happening somewhere on Earth where you would have a lodge, you would have two teams, best fishermen in the world, and that's your class. They come all in here and they do uh, two Minecraft days, which should take about, you know, 40 minutes of a class. So there's a sign here. Now, again, if they're younger kids, you might need help reading or you might want to help them read. But it says Mushroom Marsh Lake is that way. Um, I just call it Mushroom Lake for short. Dragon's Breath Lake and Redstone Lake are that way. Now, both teams can go whichever way they want. They don't have to choose one lake or the other. Uh, when the sun comes up at sunrise, it marks the beginning of day one of competition. They would all get their fishing rods and their boats and their portfolios so they could actually enter in their fish catches. There's some cameras in there as well so they can actually take some pictures. I think over there on that dock they can grab some cameras. And, uh, and they head out, and they actually head out in the boats. So let me show you Mushroom Marsh Lake. And I'll show you the Dragon Breath and uh, and Redstone. So they come down here. They can't get lost. It doesn't matter how old they are. They can't get lost because they made it that way. Um, they come around a bend, see the red and white banners, let them know that they're they're definitely still within the competition range here. And when they get to here, they see a sign, and it says "Welcome to Mushroom Lake." Um, used to be owned by the government, la 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 la. So basically this is the best fishing ground in the world. They come in here and they can actually fish. Um, they can fish from anywhere. They can fish shallow waters, deeper waters, but this is one of the lakes in the competition. So to speed things up, and they know they're here, they know not to get down the rest of the way here because this is indeed the lake. Okay, so going back again, you see it's 
it's a it's a journey and i wanted to make it that way i wanted to make it seem like they were actually on a journey to the lake so they're in their little boats they pedal down to the lake and they fish and they fish and they fish and when the sun starts to go down they pedal back and uh enjoy the night in the lodge they can sleep or they could hang out and build or whatever going this way we have two lakes they are natural lakes but there's a man-made uh connection point so you can see I wind down around here again. It's quite a journey, but it's worth it. Um, that is marked off as the wrong way. So if they came down here by accident, the sign says, hey, where are you going? This is the wrong way. And if they come this way down this little channel here that was man-made, we have Dragon Breath Lake. And there's your sign that says, welcome to Dragon's Breath Lake. Dragon's Breath Lake and Redstone Lake have a little bit of rapids between them. Redstone Lake is uh, named after the red stone, the red stained stone here, uh, which is basically the rocks and the rapids. So you'll see for the boat, it's actually kind of fun when the kids go up over this in the boat, they actually splash under the water. And when they come down the other side of this into Redstone Lake, they splash down again. So it's actually ki kind of a wild ride, much like going down the rapids. Uh, there's also lots of little nooks and crannies in here to, to fish. And the same rules apply for anyone that comes this way. When the sun starts to get down, that's a signal for all the anglers to head back. So what's going to happen is they're going to head back to their home, um, back to the lodge, and they're going to have a bunch of fish. So they come back for their teams, red and white, and they're going to put the fish in the chests uh, that are up above, or by the dinner table there, I guess. And that's when the math comes into things. So if they have 26 salmon, do you want to do some algebra and say salmon are worth three points? Uh, it says in the box, I'll show you up here, it says says how many points but there's some algebra you could do there's some addition you could do it all depends on the age of your students and whatever you wanted to push uh, forward if it's integers with maybe grade five through eight um, you could do some minusing you could do some negative values clownfish for instance could be worth less uh, you could surprise them with that um, and then of course here's the red team so I have some point scores there just for like the youngest kids you know like 26 clownfish um, make a little tally on your sheet and tell me how many points you should have that type of thing but this could get pretty deep this could get right into uh, salmon would be your algebra letter, letter s so you would have uh, 36s you would have uh, 14c and then of course you would have maybe 35p and you could do some equations as to how many points your team deserves based on and maybe even deductions thrown in so this is it i wanted to make this short and sweet this is the angler's arithmetic lesson um, it's a village that buys into a white versus red um, super fishing competition every year you can determine how long it is is it one day of fishing is it two days is it three days um, it's up to you um, but all the kids can stay in the same lodge it's quite nice this area is quite nice there's lakes in both directions and i hope you as a math teacher uh, of any age i hope you can use it if you do use it and you find it beneficial or you have suggestions, let me know. My uh, Twitter is at BBTNB. Um, you can, of course, email me. I'm a Minecraft mentor, so you can find me. Uh, my name is Ben Kelly. And if you want to share how it went or suggestions to make it better, uh, please do. Please let me know. Thanks for watching. This has been Angler Arithmetic. It's a fishing competition used to make math um, for all ages more engaging. Um, yeah, more to come.